Welcome everyone to another lesson on Khadija Academy. Before we start this lesson, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go and start our lesson. Hey everyone, in this video we will start talking about phase log the loop or PLL. Okay, so we learned about the different methods in order to estimate our angle which is used in the park transformation or uh, the transformation from alpha beta to dq which is used in our vector control uh, for our system. Now in the phase log the loop what are we exactly looking for? So again what we are going to do here is that remember what we are exactly would like to achieve. So we have VA and VB and VC right so we have the three phase shifted by 120 degrees and we have the resultant vector V B C C okay resultant vector that is rotating with omega s to pi multiplied by the frequency its angle at any given instant is theta which is omega s t right okay now what we would like to achieve here is that we said before in the vector control we would like to make d axis d axis oriented on vbcc and there will be a 90 degrees here for q axis right okay so how can we, as or as you can see here that vd is exactly equal to vbcc right if we use the power variant transformation power variant not power invariant as we explained before and vq equal to zero that is what i am exactly i'm doing here that we take the three phase voltages va vb vc at the grid side convert it from abc to alpha beta we will have v alpha and v beta now we will transform them into vd and vq from alpha beta frame to dq frame however in order to do this transformation we need an angle this angle is theta which i would like to estimate okay forget about vd forget about vd we don't know it right now what it is important for me is vq right so if I estimate this angle correctly, if this D axis is oriented on VBC and I select the right angle or estimated the right angle, then VQ will be equal to zero, right? If theta is estimated wrongly, then VQ will not be equal to zero. And that is what we are doing. If we first give an estimated angle, a theta, a theta an initial theta or an initial angle and then we compute vd and vq using a, a park transformation from alpha beta to dq and then i'm going to compare vq with a vq reference an error okay because we would like to make vq equal to zero right if vq equal to zero it means that d axis is oriented on vbcc right if vq equal to zero so if i make this error equal to zero it means that i achieved my objective and i obtained the theta that makes d axis oriented on bcc so what we did is that the error here go to into a pi controller that gives us the change so for example we have omega reference the reference frequency which is 2 pi multiplied by 50 hertz or 60 hertz okay this is a reference frequency at which we are operating in reality or in electrical power it cannot be 50 hertz exactly okay it can be for example 50.1 for example hertz so this small change will lead to a change in theta okay but we have an original omega reference which is 2 pi multiplied by 50 this is the original frequency 2 pi multiplied by uh, 50 hertz okay 
but in reality it cannot be it can't be just 50 it can be a little bit higher or a little bit lower okay so the percentage of higher or percentage of lower or which is denoted by delta omega is obtained through the bi controller right the bi control takes the error between these two and gives us a signal signal that is represented by delta omega the gap between vq0 and vq reference okay and the actual q here by doing this we will estimate our angle for example here we will have 2 pi 50 plus delta omega okay let's say for example it will be 2 pi multiplied by 0.1 okay as if the frequency is 5.1 hertz and instead of 50 hertz so the delta omega here this is change came from the pi controller and then by adding these two together we will get the overall omega omega or angular frequency of the grid the overall frequency then as we know that theta or omega is equal to d theta by dt right the change of theta with time because this one is theta omega st so if you get the derivative of this d theta by dt it will give you omega s or the angular frequency which is omega here now if i would like to get the reverse if i would like to get theta then i will integrate omega right and this is what happening by integrating omega you will get theta okay you will estimate theta and then theta here will go back to the same lobe here alpha beta dq then we will find vq okay the new vq dependent on this estimated angle okay and as you can see as we get closer to the actual theta you will find that this error will approaches zero this is what we call a phase logged loop okay at which we are estimating the angle all the time until the d axis is logged with the vbcc or the um a, a resultant vector of the three phase okay that is the whole purpose of this control loop so we estimate theta and we get it back here and we will get the new q and we'll say hey are we approaching q or are we getting away dependent on this error pi will give us the new delta omega until it reaches the final omega which is similar to the omega of the grid now this one has an additional part you will see that if we neglect this part here this uh, red box here neglect it at all and let's imagine this so we are getting theta is equal to integration of omega so what will happen is that theta will start let's say from zero and it will start going until infinity right it will keep because this is an integration However, we need to reset this integration every 2 pi, right? Because our angle of the grid or our sine wave like this, each sine wave starts from 0 to 2 pi. Then the next cycle, let's say 0 to another 2 pi. Then 0 and another 2 pi and etc. Of course, 2 pi is here, not here. Okay, forget about this. So 0 until 2 pi okay and then we start from here from 0 until 2 pi and etc so each cycle is from 0 to 2 pi so whenever theta reaches 2 pi i will give a signal to uh, or this reset measure theta all the time if it reaches 2 pi if the theta reaches 2 pi then the integrator uh, this reset will give uh, a signal of 1 to reset this integration to get it back to zero so it will be like this so we started from zero it will increase until two pi then the reset integrator will give a signal of one to reset this integration making it zero again so it will go down like this and like this keeps going like this okay like this 
Now, as you can see, the delta omega is added to the reference uh, angular frequency omega reference, which is set to the value of the grid angular frequency, 2 pi multiplied by 50 hertz. This is the default frequency or the standard frequency. However, we have some deviations, which is allowed in the electrical power system, 50.1 or 49.9, and etc. It depends on the uh, level of transmission or level of uh, distribution, uh, different voltage levels to be more specific, um, and in the, and the country code, of course. So 50 hertz here, for example, will lead to omega reference. And then we will add delta omega to estimate the actual grid angular frequency. You will see that this BI controller, we can have two response. We can have a slow dynamic response, which give us filtered stable angle but it will take longer time since it is a slow response by controlling the pi parameters but gives longer synchronization time if this pi controller is fast dynamic gives us a quick estimation of theta but this one will have a problems in grid failure conditions okay in grid failure this one can give us wrong estimated angles okay which will reflect in a wrong estimated phase angle okay now this BI controller specifically, you can find this, this problem in uh, the stability of the electrical power system uh, for a grid connected system. That uh, if we are controlling the voltage and the BI controller response is slow, you will find that the, when a fault occurs, VBCC and with respect to omega T as a perionic, so you will find that in PI controllers with slow dynamic response. Here I'm not talking about phased log the loop. I'm talking about the control of a grid connected system. Okay, at which we control VBCC using PI controllers. Vector control two. Okay, so at the beginning it is one per unit like this. And when a fault occurs, it will go down to zero. Let's say a three phase to ground. And after some time, this flow fault will be cleared. If you are using a PI controller with a slow response, it can be like this, it will go up. Uh, it takes a longer time until it gets back to the uh, one per unit. If you are using fast dynamic response for a PI controller, it can be like this. Give us like this and go all the way down. So it can cause, so if the controller is fast dynamic response, it can cause overshooting in this one beyond the limit that we would like to have so slow dynamic response takes longer time to reach steady state fast dynamic response can take cause overshooting in our control similar to this controller which is used in a grid connected system for this one if we use a slow dynamic response we will have a stable estimated phase angle and filtered but it will take longer time to reach this theta in a fast dynamic response it can due to grid distortion in faults when VBCC goes down to zero or drops down to or voltage sags all of this can cause uh, a problem in the estimated angle with a fast dynamic filter okay anyway you have to understand that phase look the loop is also there are many research many different types and many uh, criteria that are used in phase look the loop okay there is not just one solution. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens exactly. So here, if you look carefully about the grid, okay? So if you look carefully here, you will find that actually, actually, when we are talking about theta equal to omega st, which is the VBCC, right? And VA. If you look carefully here, you will find that VA itself, which is Vmax, cosine omega st or omega t you will find that the angle of a is exactly the angle of vbcc right omega st and omega st that's why we can draw va and t the variation in the theta or the angle so what you will see that here we have the frequency of the grid almost 0.5 per unit which is 50 hertz okay 50 hertz is here 0.5 50 hertz the red one 
omega of the grid and if you look at phase a phase a at the grid you will find that the voltage goes from 0.5 goes down to 0.5 goes up and down up and down as you can see here a sine wave right or a cosine wave depending on what you are looking at what about the angle you can see that the angle it changes from here this is at the beginning at the low values and goes up to one per unit one per unit here is two pi okay and zero here is zero angle so from zero to two pi goes down to zero to two pi zero to two pi what you find that at the beginning we are not exactly equal to the phase angle after some time you'll see that we are now synchronized how did i know this look carefully here you will find that this peak here this peak is very very close to zero angle and remember that at the at zero angle we will have v max okay or very very close to it if we have an angle theta a very small phase shift it will be here but let's just assume that there is no phase shift here it is just omega st so what you will see is that at zero angle we are almost at the peak of the cosine wave the cosine here and as you can see that as we go down to zero if you go up here you will find that the angle is approximately equal to 0 0.25 which is 90 degrees okay which makes cosine equal to zero so what you will see is that this is the estimated angle by the phase log to loop and this is the actual sine wave or VA okay you see that it goes from 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi and it resets using the reset which I talked about okay and you can see it follows the sine the cosine wave of VA now I will leave you this research to understand more about the phase loop loop thank you for watching this lesson I would like to invite you to our academy, Khadija Academy Premium uh, Membership, which will help you learn more about electrical engineering. In this academy or in the academy membership, you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in mass, electrical engineering basics, uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations. For example, we have electrical design, we have courses on electric circuits, power electronics, ETAB, MATLAB, solar energy, wave energy, wind energy, and much more. You can uh, join our membership for just uh, a small fee per month, or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes, and you can have them forever. And not only this, but any, any new courses that will be created, you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free. So what are the classes that I will learn in this membership? You will find different classes in electric circuits. You will find in uh, transformers, magnetic circuits, machines, uh, power electronics, uh, load estimation, lighting design, lightning also design, earthing system, cables, uh, generators, um, light current systems, or low current systems, uh, of grid design, on grid design, very, very lot, <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics.